everyone, and welcome to another episode with me, Living Free Ashley. Today, we are making peanut butter chocolate drop cookies. Now, this inspiration comes from erinlivesholl.com, and her cookies are called the peanut butter blossom cookies. So the reason why I say that this is an inspiration is because I took her recipe and I altered it for how I like my cooking cookies with the sweetness and also with the ingredients that I had in my cupboard. Um, so the recipe's pretty different, but also similar. Anyways, just go check out her <laughs> original link in the description if you wanna see um, how she made her cookies. Um, but yeah, chocolate and peanut butter together in one cookie, what more could you really want, right? <laughs> Uh, so there's two components to this cookie, the peanut butter cookie and the chocolate drop. So for ingredients for the chocolate drop, you need two tablespoons of all natural peanut butter, one tablespoon of coconut oil, half a cup of vegan chocolate chips, three tablespoons of cocoa powder, and sea salt for topping. And ingredients for the peanut butter cookie, you need one third cup of all natural peanut butter, one quarter cup of coconut oil melted, three tablespoons of pure maple syrup, one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, one cup of gluten-free flour blend, one cup of coconut flour, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and half a teaspoon of sea salt. You need a small pot for the chocolate drop, you need a baking sheet lined with parchment paper or greased for the cookies. And you also need to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Okay, let's get started. Like I was saying before, chocolate and peanut butter. What more could you want? <laughs> I think the hardest thing about these cookies is trying not to eat them all at once. Thank you again for watching another episode with me, Living Free Ashley. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, please share my videos, and cheers to living free.